Greetings and welcome to episode 41 of my Empire Total War Darth Mod Russia campaign and this my friends I left the last time where we had a massive battle my friends in Baghdad or around Baghdad but unfortunately due to superior numbers not the quality but the sheer amount of troops the Ottomans were able to bring to bear here to bring to the fight here we were unfortunately unsuccessful and with that we, we we drew here back to the wilderness here just outside the sort of Syria here where we have reconstituted the army that was involved in the fighting in Baghdad we're also bringing in a second army here bringing recruiting as you can see forces moving into the area here to bring out bring us a second army which should be enough to overwhelm the garrison and the troops here in Baghdad once and for all And we're also putting together some more, you look at that, five more regiments, my friends, moving here, going to join this army. We're going to put at least two armies here to take, to, to deal with Baghdad, bring Mesopotamia, or the latter day Iraq as it is now, under our control, and therefore bring us right onto the border here, another border here, to, to in sort of in unison here with Persia bringing us another another border here we've got one border here as you can see in the Dom we've had to move pretty much an army group in here to hold and just to tell the Persians you're not been crossing the Don anytime soon because once they cross the Don their next target is going to be Moscow which we ah. cannot afford to lose at all excuse any noise in the background my friends because it's my dog just showing off and also we've got the border here with Anatolia but as you can see we've got this Ottoman force moving in here I've got a feeling they're probably going to try and hit Ankara here we do have the forces here in place but again they are this is quite a powerful force here especially these hand mortars are absolute murder here um, but we're, we're, we're going to patience my friend patience cool calm head here we've also had a few sort of how can I say civil some civil unrest in a few of our cities Egypt was no was no exception at all until we got this pleasure garden up and running here where it gave us plus five happiness which really did sort of tip the balance in our favor here so Egypt I know Moscow was really did have a few riots running through it so we had to pull a full stack army in just to quell the, the sort of Moscow uprising that was on the cards actually we're gonna take this off from task we do need we do need the money here as you can see food shortages has been a big problem here so that's probably the reason why that's happened I I really don't understand that there's plenty should be plenty of food here from the farms but we're not going to worry about that right now we have to keep ourselves firmly focused here we're going to move this regiment down here as well but also because of the sort of the, the size that Prussia is growing here and the way it's sort of positioning itself we don't have any sort of this area the Peter St. Petersburg really does have to be pretty much a full military zone apart from this port here in Kronstadt here that really does need to mean because it is our main port look at that's bringing in 20,000 worth of trade in and out of the port but this here I've decided we're going to make this into a naval base because as you can see here the Prussians have access to two naval hospitals and also a steam dry dock here that gives them a tremendous amount of military or naval power in the area it really does absolutely overwhelms and another one here as well in Lubeck and one here as well in Husum so their they're sort of naval power particularly along the Baltic here is quite breathtaking it really is so we have to respond to that we can't allow them to build up their navy because if we were to our navy would have is going to have to travel all the way from effectively which is Greece all the way here from Patras all the way around right through the Mediterranean all the way up into the Atlantic all the way through the North Sea into the Bal into the Baltic just to protect uh, St. Petersburg and our main trade port here we are not going to allow that to happen so we're going to take steps here we're going to build up a, a sort of a military base here in this sort of I would almost call it like an alcove here um, in the on the Baltic here between sort of Finland and uh, sort of Russia, Moscow but we will compensate that by sort of upgrading of the port elsewhere so what we lose in trade here we'll 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 upgrade another port probably one of these ports here will be upgraded uh, we will upgrade the port here in Burgas or in Varna here so anyway that way we've got nothing coming in here at all look at that it's been completely cut off 
that's probably why because this because of the, the problems we're having here with this Ottomans who seem to be giving us quite a lot of problems here at the moment but that's fine we shall deal with them in our own time here patience my friends patience is key but I think we have pretty much done here but ah, also one other thing France came back France a rebellion here against the Prussian rule brought France back into the thaw. They allied with us. Look what they built here. Absolutely the finest troops cavalry you can possibly get. So we're starting to see them come back now. France has become this stop here between Russia who really were absolutely gearing themselves up for a titanic war against Spain. Oh, look at that there. Of course they've stopped the trade here with us as well. That we're missing that now from from Spain because of the Ottomans. So the Ottomans started to be a problem on trade routes with Spain, our sort of trade allies as it were. Spain does have quite the empire here in the Mediterranean and we, we want to keep them on on our side if possible until we're ready to deal with them. Um, because the Middle East is really soaking up a huge amount of our resources and particularly it's taking a lot of our military might away from other sort of sectors we also want to build up some more troops here in Yugoslavia, Bosnia, Serbia, uh, Croatia. So sort of Yugoslavia as it is, it's not anymore, but as it was then, it's, as it is now as, as Yugoslavia. And we've got Prussian forces moving around. That's a powerful force right there. Don't like the look of that one bit. And we've only got £12 here. We need to start upgrading, retrofitting some of these units with... 24 pounders which we can now in Vienna so we've got a lot to do my friends and some of these armies here in Gal Podolia and Galicia aren't really the finest we can get as you can see the Prussians do like their cannons and we need to start retrofitting a lot of our armies with them the, this army here has been the one in Kiev we really want to get some fortifications in Kiev as well just in case it really is quite a cornerstone of our defense of Moscow here but anyway my friends oh and also many of you oh, did come up with some excellent suggestion of looking at ministers and why we're having problems and look at that straight away nothing here this minister just as minister doing nothing to amusing cad minus one to management that is why so i think what we will do is we'll look for somebody Ooh. for the navy so we definitely need someone here for, oh yes we can we can move him into the navy. Look at that! That gives the navy excellent some some well earned bonus there to minus recruitment cost, minus for upkeep, plus two for naval research technologies, which is great. And because we're a monarchy, can we indeed kick this gentleman out and see if we can get somebody else? And nothing has changed there. So if we get some more candidates here, we'll swap him out. Remember, we're an absolute monarchy, so we can just swap ministers as we feel is pertinent. Right, I think we should end this turn here my friends and let's just see what we've got coming in. 19, nearly 20,000, not too bad at all. Research is going absolutely fantastically well here. And we are getting here free trade doctrine which is going to boost our trade income hugely. Let's end the turn my friends and see what happens here. But, oh excellent, Britain is uh, kicking out Sweden there. They, oh and they're hitting the pirates which is good. Still keeping Spain here Portugal as it were now under Spanish rule firmly locked down there which does hurt our trade especially to St. Petersburg oh look at that Quebec is not going anywhere too quickly and I believe that's probably to stop Quebec moving their forces into Britain or British territory should I say looks like France is back oh my word it really is back with great vigour Spain Yes, excellent. They've removed that Ottoman force. <sighs> Ooh, plot thickens. Spain is attacking Denmark. But Denmark does have a huge amount of fleets. But what Spain doesn't know is that Denmark has quite a number of troops um, right up in the north in this sort of Swedish territory. I'd be interested to see if Rush Prussia makes another move against France. That would be exceptional.
Prussia. Looks like it might have taken a bit of a beating. I think probably against Spain. I think they're throwing ships in against some Spanish fleets here. Look how many ships they can produce here. If they ever turn against us here, they would blockade St. Petersburg quite easily. And we don't have any response to that at all. That's why we're going to start building up our own forces here. That's right, you just back away from there. You just move away. This is this is quite a lot of movement towards the French border. <clears throat> and they're also building up quite the force there. <sighs> We've got an opportunity to intercept here. And we're pretty much even as well, but they do outgun us here quite significantly. Especially these organ guns, which are an absolute absolute menace. But mind you, a lot of these forces are still in pretty good shape. But this, these guns are going to give us the most problem. We do luckily have plenty of cavalry. I think we'll, I think we'll take to the battlefield here. We don't want to be besieged here. Is slightly in our favour here. Let's see what we can do here. If we do this properly, we can butcher them. We could use this cavalry here to hold down the Malmaluks and use the rest of the cavalry to take care of the cannon. Once that's done, and remove these hand mortars as well from the equation, which will be brutal on our troops. We might leave one of the heavy cavalry behind to deal with their hand mortars which can pretty much destroy almost an entire army if they get the right shots off. Right, let's take this fight my friends. The Battle of Ankara, I knew they would move in to try and take this. We really do have toes here indeed. We cannot lose Ankara because that means then moving the Istanbul garrison down to try and deal with it. And the Middle East is just drawing far too many of our best troops into this sort of maelstrom here. We have to deal with these Ottomans once and for all, we really do. It's a beautiful day. But, oh, Look how deep, actually it's a pretty deep deployment zone. Not very wide, but pretty deep. Oh, that's a really small, look at that. This hill here would be a beautiful vantage point, but that would give their guns far too much close range for us here. What we are going to do is we're going to be in the open here. We're not going to use, we're going to use a town here, this small village on our left here to sort of be used in case they come this way to, to be able to break up their formations. I think we'll get our guns into position first. And we're going to set our guns back just behind this wall here. It's a limber. We'll put them on round shot for the start. Bring our general, as always, back in behind here on overwatch. Now, our cavalry, get our heavy cavalry together. That's actually going to go thus. Oh, look at that. Our deployment zone is so small. Let's put out that there. We've got some excellent light infant light so light cavalry here which we'll put here we'll deal with these in a minute all right let's get the troops here which have our most important asset i think we put the grenadiers in the front line here we have the first grenadier regiment as you can see veteran units here so they have been in quite a number of fights first grenadiers we shall then have Second Grenadiers on the right. The third Grenadiers on the left. Gentlemen. That's a pretty good deployment there. Not ideal, but we're gonna we're moving within the parameters of the of the deployment zone here. I think yeah, we'll have the 29th here on the right, 28th on the left, again trying to use 
the village if possible to our advantage. We don't have much room here. I think we put the 23rd here on the right. I think that's possibly where the most action is going to be seen. We've got this cliff here as well. We have to push these forward. We have this so as a backstop against any other formation. We have to move them up pretty close here. How can we get another regiment in? We need a good regiment here to defend. Our 30th regiment here. On this flank. We'll hold the 1st Regiment of the Cossack Infantry in reserve. We've got the 74th as well. I think we'll hold them in reserve on this flank here. So we can see what happens here. We're going to hold one regiment, second horse, back in as a reserve here to try and deal with those hand mortars that might come our way. The rest are going to be used on either flank. So the light cavalry is going to be used here. Not ideal the deployment, but they are going to be sent off in this direction into the onto the right flank. And the heavy, the rest of the range of the heavy cav here is actually going to be sent off into the left flank here, looking for those Malmalukes who might even just come straight down the middle. But still, we have a regiment to deal with the Malmalukes if they come that way. Let's end the deployment, my friends, and let's begin. I should send one of these regiments. What have we got here? There's those Mamelukes. Gentlemen, you seem to think this is some kind of stroll. It isn't. them back to here in a more defensive line. We're going to go hunting my friends, hunting for artillery and hand mortars which are there. Look at that already it's begun. Looks moving across here. Oh, it's these fiends here that are really going to give us the, the trouble. Come on, gentlemen, move! Just take these down now. There's some Almalooks guarding this flank here. Oh, that's a beautiful sight to 
see, look at that. Absolutely butchered there, my friends, butchered. Now we've thrown them off, we've pulled all the defending forces away here. Let's switch off up. But they've done their job here, they've disrupted his here. a shot. They're coming back. Firing lads. This this right flank is gonna take a real pasting if we're not careful. Let's deal with these fans here. General, get after him. Fire, lads. I said, get after him. Oh, look at that. water get out 
out of there, lads. Get out of there. Broken. Broken all along the line. How dare they come here and try and take our lands from us. They've broken that. Let's smash in these Malmalukes. I told the Malmalukes are excellent troops. They really are. <laughs> Winning slightly? I don't think so, good sir. I don't think so. <laughs> Wavering. That won't do you any good at all. <laughs> look at that! That is a wonderful shot there, my friends. Beautiful look at that. Absolutely stopped dead in their tracks. Silent guns, full silent. Let's have to see how good they are now against three heavy cavalry regiments. <laughs> Butcher the lads, yes. Anchor, my friends. That was the biggest force they had. Look, they got six, they got three, they've got 330 men left out of that massive force they bought there. 420, look at that, Grenadier has killed 428 men. That's an exceptional number. Look at that, they've got two regiments left. But they've repaired this regiment here. That does, that doesn't bode well. But at least Britain has opened up his trade routes again. Persia, got to keep an eye on what's happening here with Persia. Mokhal Empire, they've been loyal companions, loyal allies. <sighs> Spain... I, whoa, they've attacked... Italian states are attacking Spain, that is a pretty brutal... ...war going on right there, wow. Do you know what? Don't do anything silly, do you know what? Don't do anything silly. Oh, look at that, they've taken Sweden, wow. Quebec. Pirates. Right, Batman. Okay. Plus one happiness in the middle. Not good. 
how is the control? Oh, it's still not brought under control here at all. Mind you, the garrison forces are doing a pretty good job here. Oh, 24,526. Excellent. That is a nice amount of troops here being recruited. I think they can join this force here. We put them together. I think we'll equip it with three guns, three 24-pounders. These gentlemen here are actually pretty good force, so we'll actually combine them with these. Oh, we don't need another general. So in fact we'll move this general out, and he will begin a new army. And we'll put three more regiments in here. How much? How much cavalry have we got in here? Three cavalry. That's more than enough. The rest will be troops, which is excellent. And actually, we could send this general down to here to form a army here in Zagreb, which would be excellent. Romania. Again, we're starting to build up troops to move into Yugoslavia to keep things under control in Yugoslavia. Serbia is getting its... yeah that's excellent, that's bringing Serbia back under control. Oh look at all those troops in Palestine, that is excellent. I like the fact they've managed to put these back, these armies, and they're starting to They're starting to replenish these armies here, which I am not amused about at all. Which is fine. The firepower we're going to bring to the to bear against them now. Uh, they already know they're up against it. So Palestine. And as promised, to offset that, we will incre increase our trade. And actually, what we should have done here is replenish these gentlemen here, because they have fought valiantly here, and sent these packing here. But it looks like they're going to start moving in some more troops to try and take Ankara but you will fail. You will fail. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that's going to be a mighty fun to watch. And also, we have to keep a really close eye on what goes on there because that will be of definitely of tactical importance to us. It looks like Prussia wants to take France back off. F retake France, should I say. We're at, war we're at peace here with Spain, but who is Spain at war with? Quite a lot of people here. Even Prussia, they're at war with Persia, Italian states. We are trading here well with Spain, but Spain does have quite the powerful uh, the empire here. How is their empire in? Oh my goodness me, they've got, they're rich enough to be able to pretty much handle anything here. Look at Britain, oh Britain, it really has expanded hugely here. There's nothing else we can, the only thing we need here is Royal Academy, that would probably tip things into our favour. One more gun. Twenty four pounder. I think 
that's good enough for us there. this port here goes under control We're okay here call me cause like infantry we need dragoons as well I know that many of you say get dragoons you're right my friends you're right time we get dragoons. Egypt as well, which we can build upon. We can't really get much more in Egypt, but we do need to get power loom. How is our power? Was power powered loom, which we've got steam engine four more turns. Let's end the turn, my friends. Let's have a quick look what's going up here. There's going to be really of interest to us here. Let's end the turn. Britain. Britain have a massive empire. Where are they heading exactly? But no, oh, possibly moving into Canada. France. Ah. Garrisoning some, this fort here. Spain increasing his troops along the border there in Libya. Spain and Italian states. Prussia moving more and more troops to the French border. Persia. This movement of troops here by Persia. 
a little unnerving. Italian states hitting Spain quite hard here. That's a big force by Quebec right there. That's dropped quite a bit there. Damn it. Food shortages. We've got to get these down here. Agriculture is good, but we need to boost it a little bit more. the final amount here. I've got no idea where they're going. But they'll be now ready to meet us. But we'll be ready to hit them as well. gentlemen will soon escape. And here we've got these two guns on the way. I think we'll hit them with some more cavalry. Moscow. Excellent. That won't bring us any additional Why have we got food shortages? I don't understand why we got food shortages. We shouldn't have. That's almost done there. I think we've got enough army to protect St. Petersburg. Or more than enough. Maybe we can start pressure fitting some of these armies with some 24 pounders. Oh, I'd really like to do. Start a refresher fitting some of these. I'll make a 24 pounders here. Can we increase anything else here? We can actually increase three here. That's another full army there. The gentleman will be sent to Zagreb. Shall keep the deployment and recruitment going on here. And also in there we shall increase our assets in Yugoslavia via Istanbul. Greece is fully fortified. Anywhere else we can upgrade here, we can upgrade this here. Increase our trade income. And definitely here as well, in Latakia. That's almost finished the fishing village, or fishing, fishery, major fishery, should I say. I'm not doing too bad here at all, my friends. But we've got this. They really are being an absolute menace here. How are these doing here? Almost done. They stood absolutely fantastically well here in Ankara, really holding this whole flank open here, not allowing it to be taken. But I think we might have to put a, a, a fortification around here, especially if we go to war with Persia, they'll head straight for there. But this is going to be the major thing we've got to do now is try and dig the Ottomans out of Baghdad here. I don't think we're going to do anything but focus on getting these out of here. Getting this up to a full stack army. These should reach it pretty soon. 
Right, let's have a quick look at ministers. We've got any good ministers here? Pious. better in justice. Nope. Almost done the steam engine. And one more turn to we get that, then our trade income should be absolutely skyrocketing. Attendance. Britain. Looks like Britain is starting to move against Quebec. <clears throat> and Spain once again. Ah, France dealing with the pirates. France starting to send troops around quite well here soon. Spain answering the call from Britain. Oh, look at that. They're getting absolutely smashed in there against the Italians. Prussia. Spain might lose that foothold there in the Italian peninsula. Quebec. And the pirate. Maybe be becoming a menace. Yeah. Well, we're going to show them that they can't do anything against us here. We're not going to be moved. Actually, can move this force around to here. The general for this army. Continue the recruitment. Let's have a look at our income here. Ninety-two thousand. Hundred eighteen thousand. You get that back up to to hundred thousand. The, the build up here in Yugoslavia continues. Commercial basin, which we are going to put into practice. Palestine. Look at that. 
they've stripped this out here. We now make our move towards Baghdad, my friends. That final... Oh, they get an army staff college. Which we need to do immediately. We need to, go to take these right now. form again is being hit here. don't understand why we're, we're getting so many problems with the it's going down here 4.3 so we've got any growth at all this is kind for reform that's getting it's really putting us in the, in the spotlight here this port dockyard. Egypt, look at that, major fishery, fishery, brilliant. Food shortages should be being reduced. This is a foreign occupation. Let's get the trade flowing in here. Savoy, that's why we've got no income from Savoy at all. Of course, the Persians are hitting Savoy. Hitting Venice as well. Avoid being hit. Damn. But we just keep ourselves. Okay, we keep the flow, the infrastructure moving along freely here, my friends. St. Petersburg is doing quite. It's very doing very nicely, actually. I think the yeah, we've got enough armies here. We're just going to concentrate on getting these up here. What are we up to here? What we want from here is classic e classical economy economics. It's gonna take a while. We don't want citizenship. Look at that, minus two. What we need is a much better minister here for justice. shortages. Why are we getting food shortages? We should have plenty of food here. It may be because of the size of our armies absorbing so much food. Anyway, we've missed here. Anyway, we haven't upgraded. Brought into the fold. Two more turns still steam engine. Then we can open up. Then we can open up quite a lot here of production. Oh, the Iroquois have gone.
Britain, Britain has taken the issue quite look at the size of Britain's holding here. It is huge. There's the Ottoman Empire. I'll be damned. They've got this down here. But we're going to make our move very, very soon. Is the Ottomans. Gardens that'll probably increase happiness. Oh, that army's back up to full. Very nice. Right, let's end the turn, my friends. I think we're going to bring the next turn will probably be the, and that's going to be the one where we start to besiege Baghdad once again. Britain, France. France, look how many troops France are able to bring into the... F and Spain starting to really start to husband the strength together now. They're continually throwing their troops into that Italian fight. A minute, they're picking up those troops. Ottoman Empire. Ooh, they've moved out those forces. Well, well, well. Here they come again. Damn it. A Persian in civil war again? Still not able to take Naples, but then you'd have a unified Italy. Synod, yeah, we know that's been hit there. Spain has been hit again, Denmark's been hit, Savoy has been cut off for a long time, but Spain is where we're being hit the hardest. There, this one does need upgrading, and these armies here for definite need upgrading along the border. How many do we have here? Four. We shall start to retrofit these armies here on the border. How many do we need? Three more. That's looking a bit healthier. getting some really nice forces here. 